Hello and welcome to How to Develop Intelligent Information Management Policies, Learning Outcomes. In this lesson, you will be able to 1. Assist end users to understand intelligent information management policy. 2. Identify the intersection between intelligent information management policies and the law. 3. Apply lean principles to policy writing. Imagine you are eating out at a five-star restaurant. When you arrive, the waiter seats you and your significant other. Before handing you the menu, he hands you a list of restaurant policies, which read as follows. 1. Casual dress code will not be tolerated by any means. 2. No shouting or misbehaviour is allowed and patrons that exhibit any kind of unruly behaviour will be escorted from the premises. 3. Nobody is allowed to steal silverware from the table. If you are caught, the police will be summoned. 4. Please display proper table etiquette. Do not put your elbows on the table or talk with your mouth full. If you display poor etiquette, you will be reprimanded by the manager. The list of do's and don'ts continues for two pages of fine print, and by the time you're done reading through it, you've lost your appetite. That's because the rules are degrading, condescending, dictatorial, and they treat you like a child. Many of these rules are part of an existing social contract. For example, you don't need to be told how to eat and behave yourself decently. Lastly, at least one of these rules are addressing something that is law anyway. Why do they feel it is necessary to tell you not to steal? You know the law and you know the consequences already. Placing rules into the policies that don't need to be there are bloating the document unnecessarily. This is how we at AIM would rewrite the restaurant policies. 1. Please be aware that a semi-formal to formal dress code is encouraged. 2. We thank you kindly for behaving in a courteous manner at all times. That's all that's necessary and is much more likely to encourage compliance and avoid alienating patrons. This example is extreme, but the policies in some companies aren't so far removed from this restaurant's policies, and they can elicit the same reactions and emotions in employees as you would experience when visiting the restaurant. Let's explore this matter further. Often organisations claim to hold respect for others as a core value, but when you look at their policy documents, the story is different. Whether they call them policies, standards or simply rules, too often they sound like a sergeant barking orders at the troops. That tone of voice might have been acceptable in the past, but it is not effective in today's workplace. This lesson provides guidance on how to update your corporate, administrative and operational policies to meet changing times and invites you to rethink how you draft rules. It shows you how to convey authority without sounding dictatorial or combative. Eliminate negative messaging. Choose words that encourage compliance. Organise and reduce the length of policy instruments. Employees and customers expect to be spoken to with respect. Poorly written policies reflect badly on your organisation, even if they exist only as remnants of a culture your organisation had in the past. On the other hand, well written rules invite engagement. They are positive and helpful, focusing on targets and collaboration rather than prohibitions and punishments. This lesson will help you make your policies easier to follow, enforce and audit.